Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well and safe. So let's talk about Amazon Transcribe, a good machine learning service, what AWS has provided to us, where you can automatically convert your speech into text with a few simple set of configuration. Again, I have used this service with one of my client. Interaction was good using this service. I would not say it's 100% accurate, but it is doing a decent job in converting that particular audio into text file. So let's talk about a few of the pointers and then we will deep dive into the practical demo. Amazon Transcribe is an automatic speech recognition service that uses machine learning model to convert your audio to text. So you just have to upload the file, whether it is S3 bucket or any other location. And then from there, you can start getting the text file of that particular audio and we can upload the video file as well. So it will recognize that particular service, take out that audio, analyze that audio and convert that into a text. You can also use Amazon transcribed as a standalone subscription service or to add a speech to text capabilities to any of the application. Again, uh, my use case was to, you know, convert every audio into the text file in one of the application that I use for my client. Another good example, I would say, which everybody is aware of YouTube. So when you start any video, there is an option where you can enable the speech section, right? You, whatever the speaker is talking about, you are getting all the, you know, detail of the text at the bottom of your particular video, which you are running on YouTube. So that is what Amazon transcribe is. Again, that's a Google service, but I'm just giving you an example. With Amazon transcribe, you can also improve the accuracy of the specific use case with language customization. We have tons of language support over here and I'll show you the configuration as well, because that's something the lab part is all about. Filter the content to ensure the customer privacy or audience appropriate language, analyze the content in a multi-channel audio, partition the speech of individual speaker and many more functionalities. So I would say just try it out. If it is a use case which can help you out, then I would prefer to use this service. And if you're Amazon native, which means if you're heavily loaded on your Amazon web services, then it's better to use the native tools, right? And again, you are getting 60 minutes of speech to text for 12 months free. So you're hardly paying again, it depends upon the use cases, but when you do a proof of concept, I guess 60 minutes of speech to text for 12 months is more than enough for you to do the POC use cases, get the insights from customer conversations, then search and analyze the media content in a different languages, create the subtitles and meeting notes and improve the clinical documentation. So again, as per the theoretical part, I would say we are getting a decent amount of uh, job getting done with Amazon transcribe. So I hope this clears a lot. What exactly Amazon transcribe is all about just converting your speech to text. That's the mo main motive behind this service. Again, I have, it can be more than that, but I have used this service and as per the documentation itself, it's converting your speech to text. So let's jump to our AWS management console and I will show you what exactly the configuration is all about. So this is basically how Amazon transcribe looked like the page itself. You are getting a lot of different options, automatic speech recognition. That's the tagline. What's new real time call analytics. I haven't tried it yet because my use case was more of, you know, converting the audio into text. So let's, focus on that again, as I said, lot of different functionalities are there, but I have used one, which I wanted to share with you guys. Now I have a video, which is already uploaded to my S3 bucket. Let me show you the video. It's a one minute video, which I have uploaded to my S3 bucket. So let me just play it. It's a simple, you know, description of Amazon transcribe. So let's talk about Amazon transcribe. It's one of a good service where you can convert all your speech into text and almost 60 minutes of speech. So this is what exactly we have discussed for the demo part. 
uh, you know, the demo video, I would say it's not a full video that I have recorded, just a sample video. And I have uploaded this to S3 bucket. As you can see, this is the S3 bucket S3 DG test 2022 test .mov. But uh, the problem over here is uh, Amazon transcribe doesn't support the extension MOV. How? Uh, let me show you that again, uh, in order to convert the video or the audio into speech where you have to go go to the transcription job click on create job and if i scroll it down valid formats are mp3 mp4 flac and webam whatever it is so my format will not support so let me just you know convert this into the mpv4 format or mp3 and then I will resume my video back in order to show you how to convert that configuration. Okay, so I have converted the file and uploaded to my S3 bucket. As you can see, this is test.mp4. So let me copy this object URL because we need that. Um, let me go to transcription job again. Let's create a job, give that name as demo, specific language, automatic language identification, automatic multiple languages identification i'm going with the default one specific language because i know it's english you can choose anything as per the requirement which basically you think it's best for your application code choose the language for the input audio i have selected english us or you can select any language as per your requirement right if you are doing it in german or farsi french depend upon what exactly the video is or the audio is all about generic model i'm going for the generic model uh, basically to use this model that is not spe specialized into a particular use case choose this option configuration options are very between the languages if you click on custom model this totally based upon what exactly your language setting is okay uh, additional settings you can add to the job queue enable you to submit the job beyond the limit of the current jobs concurrent jobs not current jobs you must specify the ac access permission over here okay let's copy and paste enter a valid url in s3 format let me do that i believe that's correct sorry it's s3 all on yep that's right you should uh, for the output data, output data location, service manage S3 bucket, or you can, you know, go for the customer specified S3 bucket. I guess instead of creating a new one, I believe I can use the same. And actually I have to create a folder over here. So in that case, let me select the service manage by AWS itself. I'll delete that after the demo. Subtitle format, SRT, VTT, again, depend upon your requirement. I'm not selecting that and tags. Click on next. Audio settings, audio identification, then alternative results. You can again change as per the configuration which your application demands, okay? I'm going for the default one, nothing else. Custom vocabulary, I, I don't have uh, any such you know, customization in my environment. It's a plain audio file or a video file, which I have uploaded, create a job. As soon as you start creating the job, what it will do, the URL that you have provided doesn't point to the S3 object. Make sure the object exists. Let me go back. Oh, it's empty. One sec. So let me go here and select our file. That's done. Next and create a job. As soon as you create a job, it goes into the in progress state. And once this is done, it takes a bit of time. Once this is done, the conversion is done. We'll be able to see the location, the output location, as well as what I have, uh, you know, speak about in that particular file. So we just need to wait for a few minutes. It's not that uh, fast I would say so again I'm going to have this video pause once the job is done I'll resume it back 
so the job is completed it took almost nearby a minute to convert and as you can see it expires in 89 days so let's click on demo go inside the demo so we have input data location output data location is service manage s3 bucket and here is the speech let's talk about Amazon Transcribe, it's one of a good service where you can convert all your speech into text and almost 60 minutes of speech to text for 12 months is free, which is accurate, what I have talked about. So you are really not paying a lot of money over here when you are trying to know, trying to know, do, instead of do, I, I said to, trying, uh, trying to you know to proof of concept for your company trying to do trying to so you is not there actually okay that's one of the mistake I have used this service with one of my client and it worked really well that's correct again it's not 100% accurate as we have seen but uh, it did a good job over there so Amazon transcribed instead of transcribe it's uh, mentioned as transcribed again depend upon pronunciation too is an automatic speech recognition service that uses machine learning model to convert your audio into text so again in the back end it's all machine learning you can also use transcribe here it is correct as standalone transcription service or to add speech to text capabilities into your application so one of the good example i would say when you go to youtube and run any video right question mark that's right uh, so there is an option where you can enable the text part of it. So whatever you are speaking, you will get the text part at the bottom of your YouTube video. And you can understand what language is all about. So with Amazon Transcribe, you can also improve accuracy and everything. I believe uh, it's almost near to 90% uh, accuracy. Again, depend upon pronunciation too, uh, where for one of the mistakes over here, obviously I haven't made a mistake in this particular line. When you are trying to, you know, do a proof of concept for your company. No, that's not right. Transcribe may be a pronunciation mistake, but yeah, rest of the things looks good and it is doing a decent job as you can see. Subtitles, we haven't selected that. We haven't created a job. Audio identification, that was also disabled. It was just converting your audio into text so i hope this clears a lot how to configure at least one part of uh, transcribe converting your uh, audio into speech and that worked well as i said or mentioned earlier it's not 100 percent accurate depend upon pronunciation also depend upon how you are you know injecting all the configuration and everything but yeah uh, it's almost near to, I, I, as per best of my, you know, experience, 80 to 90%, you will get a proper speech text value over here. So play it around. If you're facing any issue, place out a comment in comment section. I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.